organizing and searching your notes in Google Keep. So Google Keep is a great place to take notes, take reminders, um, all those good things, but it's only as good as your ability to find them later on when you actually need them. So through the magic of Google, uh, they have given us a variety of ways that we can organize our notes and make it easier for us to find things. One of those ways is by color coding. So you'll see the default setting for any note that you take is for that note to be on a white background. But if you'll notice underneath each note on the uh, series of icons that you have at the bottom, there's a little artist palette. This will allow you to color code your notes in a way that makes sense for you. So example, um, this one here on my Walt Disney, this is going to be some research or a note that I took. So I might decide that all of my research is going to be in blue. All of my reminders might be in red, for example, and I can go through and select those. My to-do list, I might have be green because those are things that I need to go and take care of and take and do. Not only does it make it visually easy to spot those types of notes within my large Google Keep board here, but it's also going to be a way that I'm able to search for them. Another option that you have to organize your notes is by using a label or by tagging them. You'll see as I go down the left hand side of my screen here, I have a variety of labels that I can then click on to bring up my notes with that have been uh, tagged with that particular label. To set that up, um, you'll see as I come over here within my note, there is those three dots, which we know always means more in Google world. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and you'll see I have the ability to add label. Now, all of the labels that I have on the left hand side of my screen will then appear here. If I need to create a new one, I can go ahead and type that and create the note or that, excuse me, create that label right from the note itself. When I select it, it's going to put a little checkbox. Now, the nice thing about labels is you can have multiple labels per note. So not only this is research, but it's also going to be about Walt Disney. So you can see I have both of those labels appearing there. Uh, maybe I go in, this will also be an example that I'm doing for this particular video. If I want to take a label off, it's as simple as unchecking the box, or you see when I click on the note, I then have the X beside the label that will allow me to remove that as well. You will also notice that when it comes to organizing my board, you can drag and drop your drag and drop your notes in an order that makes sense. But there might be a few that you always want to have at the top. So for example, at the top of my board, you'll see I have three what they call pinned notes, my to-do list, notes for our office meeting, as well as things to include in our office newsletter. To pin a note, if you mouse over a note down below, you'll see in the upper right hand corner, you have a what looks like a push pin up here. If I select that, that note now comes at the top of my screen, again, amongst all of my pin notes, so I could go ahead and move that where I need it to be. This is great for whether it's something permanent that you always want at the top, like your to-do list, or if it's something that is just applicable to a certain project that you're working on. If you want to unpin a note, you just go ahead and unclick the push pin, and it will go back down into the bottom with the rest of those notes. So all of those things, the color coding, the labeling, all of those allow you to give you ways to search your notes very easily. Of course, this is Google, so their search functionality is going to be fantastic. You'll see at the top of my screen a very bo big box that says search. If I click in there, I can obviously search by keyword. But before I even go there, you'll see once I click in there, it gives me the option to search um, by the type of note. So if I know it was a list, if I know it was an image, I can select that. Here are all of my images that I have within my Google Keep. I can then even search within those images themselves. So I could do, for example, something that says upcoming. Here's a note that is um, had used that word upcoming. Other types, other ways, you of course have labels. So not only can you do it from the left hand side um, in your default view of your Google Keep, it will come up as a search functionality. It will look for specifically for things, people that you have shared your note with, and then also your color. So if I pulled up all of my gray notes, here are going to be all of my ISTE standards that I have put in for use.